Good evening. Tonight at the Film Club, we present two very original American thrillers, one a cult success from 1984 and the other from back in 1949. Neither was originally made with big budgets, and the powers that be in the film industry expected little more than routine success. But Blood Simple, our first film, certainly did succeed, and DOA, the initials are for Dead on Arrival, has been revalued as a much more imaginative film than usual for its time. As director of the London Film Festival, I was very pleased to be able to present Joel Cohen's Blood Simple as a late night show in 1984. It was the film's first performance in England, and I wasn't surprised when Joel and his brother Ethan, who produced and co-wrote the script, got tremendous applause after the performance, including from those harshest critics of all, the projectionists. I can't say that we discovered the film. That was done by a lot of people at Cannes earlier in the year. And what we all liked about Blood Simple was the visual bravura it displayed and the confidence the filmmakers had in going for your throat right from the start. It's a latter-day B-movie, if you like, totally unpretentious, but full of invention and the kind of ironic kick that makes you shudder and then laugh. The story of a cuckolded husband whose bid to avenge himself and his wife and her lover backfires horribly. Joel and Ethan Cohen were in the late twenties when they made the movie, both university graduates who raised the cash for the film by subscription. Sixty people bought shares and as a result made a considerable amount of money. It was shot in Texas in eight weeks, but it took the Coens several months to find anyone interested in it. They're not Hollywood men and were determined to steer clear of big budgets and the inevitable compromise that implies. This is the inherited territory of Dashiell Hammett, James M. Cain, and the hard-boiled school of American crime writing. But the Coens still give Blood Simple a real contemporary feel. One critic here called it the crime and punishment of B-movies, and other reviewers compared the elaborate style of the film with Wells, Spielberg, Hitchcock, and even Sergio Leone. That, I think, is pressing it a bit, but the Coens certainly made a highly accomplished debut, which only occasionally lays it on too thick, like the slightly ludicrous as well as horrific murder, which seems to take ages to complete. At this point, I wondered whether the whole joke would misfire, but it doesn't, and one of the reasons is the resonant only just over the top performances, particularly that of the superb M. Emmett Walsh as the seedy, sweaty, small-town divorce detective with the scruples of a mongoose. Maybe Blood Simple advertises its skill too obviously. Perhaps it's just a collection of brilliantly manufactured sequences. But I guarantee you'll be on the edge of your armchair right up to the finale, which for sheer panache can't easily be beaten. This is self-conscious but self-confident stuff, filmmaking that makes you sit up and watch from beginning to end. And the shocking and violent images are matched in places by language which some of you may find particularly strong. Blood Simple by Joel Cohen. <laughs>